Hi, Taurus. It's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm going to pull some cards for you. This is Sun, Moon, and Rising, and I also will do Mars for the Feminine and Venus for the Masculine. And I'm just, I already pre shuffled, so I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more and then we'll get right into it. <clears throat> it is, my throat's already caught. <laughs> it is November 7th, 2019, today. I'm in, I'm in a good spot for you because I was just, I ate a little while ago. I'm just getting a little bit sleepy, so I'm getting into a really open place. So let's see what comes through for you guys. All right, so for everyone watching, the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? This is for Taurus, November 7, 2019. <sighs> Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, good. Your first card out is the Six of Cups. Beautiful. The challenge is the, let's see if I can get that a little closer, sorry. It's getting dark out in this computer doesn't like this lighting very much. All right, so we have the page of pentacles as the challenge. Let me turn this a little bit to see if it helps with the glare. Okay, so this is the foundation of the read is the Knight of Cups reversed. The recent past is the Hierophant reversed. What's crowning or in your head at the now moment? That two of wands. Okay. And what's coming up is the seven of of seven of pentacles. How do you see yourself? The king of wands reversed. He's been coming up in everybody's read today. Around the king of wands is the King of Pentacles reversed. He came up in another read together with the King of Wands in another read. The blocks that you might need to work on right now to clear has to do with Four of Pentacles, the Taurus, and then coming up at the end with the Devil reversed. And I do a little bit of a hangman at the end, so I have a connector to the hangman and whatever's hanging in limbo at the end of this read. So what connects that limbo? The Seven of Wands reversed. And what is the hangman there that is connected that is left in limbo? So this has this is the the hangman awake. Someone's trying to get out of there, but they're they're chained in a little bit there. So that's the limbo. And I also pull a wild card after that or two. All right. And then the bottom of the deck is the chariot reversed. So let's see why we have the chariot reversed. What's what's going into this read? All right, so we have the nine of swords in the recent past. Okay, so the nine of swords is out here in the recent past. So somebody chronically suffering in silence, um, purging up nights, not able to sleep or crying, stressed out. And then we have the, the Temperance card up here, upright, and the Five of Wands down here, so some kind of fight is over. And there is patience involved here. And that could be literal medical patience as well. Um, and then we have the Chariot. So because of the suffering and silence, someone might have had a breakdown. Someone's been very patient, not fighting, or maybe not conflicted anymore. Um, it could be a car broken down too. It could just feel, be feeling broken in general, being too patient perhaps. Maybe not fighting for yourself. But it also could be the cancellation of a trip or a move. Uh, it can be somebody on the war path too, but I have the battle's over here, so I'm not really getting that here. Just a lot of suffering and silence. And we have Sagittarius and Cancer energies both here, and the Queen of Pentacles is below all of this. And she was upright, though. 
All right, so Taurus, in the recent past, above that situation, we have the Hierophant, which is you, that's Taurus energy, but it's reversed. So it could, there could be a breakup or a divorce, right? Because we have the chariot reversed and there's some kind of break. Um, it also could just be spiritually outside the box, thinking outside the box or alternative way of believing. Um, anything that's traditional, this is non-traditional. Um, so it doesn't have to be bad. It's just not the traditional. This is all about contracts and commitment, the old way of doing things, the traditional, and it's reversed. So it's the opposite of all that. But it also could be divorce and break in contracts of any kind of contract. So we have Taurus, Cancer, and Sagittarius right there. So in the foundation is the Knight of Cups reverse. So definitely can be some jealousy here, rejection. Mainly rejection. It can be insincerity as well. Um, we have the you seeing yourself, Taurus, as that King of Wands reverse. So that could be you as well. That could be you being insincere or jealous. Um, just feeling rejected or just refusing outright to give or receive love because you're mad. Or you're just too tired. You see yourself as, or the center of the read energy is the Six of Cups, the children in the garden. So definitely could be kids or a soulmate, fond memories of the past. Okay. So it could be, it's either way, it's a really close connection. And it, in itself, it's beautiful, upright, and positive. And then the challenge is the page of pentacles, which is also upright. So that's a student, a child, or someone in need, someone isn't in need, they're receiving an opportunity. Or they have a little bit of money, they have a little bit of something, maybe an invitation for something. It's not a lot, but it's a little. It's like the early stages of manifesting something. But the challenge is that. It's that it's, it's new, it's, you don't have a lot of money. Or maybe you need to learn more before you really feel good about this. So, and this is all around children or um, a soulmate or your childhood where you had some insecurities around being able to do things for yourself. There may be some jealousy by the by you around this center issue. Because you see yourself as the King of Wands reversed and the recent past is that Taurus energy, um, alternative way of doing things. There's and definitely could be a breakup with Taurus, Sagittarius and cancer energies over there. Someone's been very patient in dealing with drama and allowing the fight to just end. But still, but even though the, the battle's over, you still feel like you're in, you're on the war path. It's like that after the war feeling. It's still there. It's not really, really done yet. Um, what's in your head or at the moment, right, the now moment, is that choice of path. So you are deciding to take a new path, you just don't know which one, but the choices are right there. One path looks very clear without many challenges, and the other one you have like five dark birds and a big mountain to clear. But on both sides you also have a, a beautiful deer waiting for you. And the deer look pretty much the same. It's just the one is an easy path with no shadow and the other one has five dark birds because so there might be a lot of dark energy around you and a huge mountain to climb. So what's coming up for you is the seven of pentacles, which is about reaping the rewards. You know, all the fruit has grown on the tree, so it's time to pick it and enjoy it for a moment. Anyway, may not be retirement, but just time to take a break and enjoy what you have. Enjoy your children. Um, enjoy studying with your children. Maybe your children can pick from the tree that you've, that you've just manifested. They might want to pick your brain or learn how, how to start a business, how to start manifesting. And that definitely has to do with child energy. Or it could, be, um, it could be a soulmate that you want to start something with as far as business or making money. 
but it's in the very beginning stages or maybe one or both of you still need so to learn something. But it could be an offer opportunity, but that is the challenge. How do you go forward and, and offer one coin to someone who's got seven coins on their tree already? And it may be, especially the masculine Taurus, um, feeling a little jealous or that kind of energy, you know, that maybe a woman shouldn't be um, in a better place than them financially. But it could be because it's after a breakup or a divorce where they don't have as much money as they usually do because they had to divide all the assets. And just feeling very broken, jealous, rejected, just feeling, you know, incomplete. And plus next to you, Taurus, how people, what's around you or how people see you is the king of pentacles reversed. And look how they're looking at each other. They're pretty funny, actually. I don't know how well you can see their expressions there, but. So the king of wands is looking at the king of pentacles reversed, like, don't talk to me. And the king of pentacles is like, what? <laughs> like they know each other. So it could be another persona of you, the Taurus. So King of Pentacles reverse obviously could be Taurus, but you're seeing yourself as more passionate. So the other people see you as the money man, you see you as the passionate man. People see you, but they're both reversed. So people see you in a negative way, maybe greedy, all about money completely, or that you've lost money or status recently, but you see yourself as the man of passion reversed. So stuck, like you have all this passion, but you're frustrated or mad or just too tired to do anything about it. So some of the blocks you might need to work on or clear has to do with the four of pentacles. So we have a lot of pentacle energy coming up here. And that has to do with being practical, saving, grounding, but not holding on too tightly, like not clinging to your money, not going to lack consciousness. And you might even be competing with this other man here as well. So it could be if it's someone separate from you, the, the King of Pentacles has four pentacles, King of Wands has seven pentacles. Or maybe you're seeing your options as far as jobs, or you can even see your partners in terms of pentacles, which isn't a good way to see them. But there could be a man who's all about money who sees this woman as four pentacles and this one as seven pentacles as far as, but what can they do for me? Like, can they do the work for me? Can they do this for me, right? They don't see about the love, they just see about dollars and cents and what they'll do for me. So we end up here as the devil, reversed. So somebody might be completely out of control and then in need of detox. So in choosing a path, maybe they just feel like they need to detox first reaping rewards and they have some money so maybe they have money to just stay home for a while and detox or actually go to a facility and detox they don't have a lot but they do have enough to take some time out so what's connecting you to what's going to be hanging here when we leave this read is feeling defenseless right to either just the energies coming in right now that might knock you for a loop because just make you feel really tired or it could be too many people coming at you at once or literally people attacking you but the good thing here is when you feel that, you end up hitting bottom because if, if it's that overwhelming, it gets to a point at the Ten of Wands, you know, where I just, I don't care anymore. I can't, I can't do it. And then you don't care anymore what they think or what they say or what they do. And that's where you need to start from is loving yourself first. So that's the connection to the hangman who's awake and running. This is someone who's trying to, who's up and running and escaping the box. He's just got to lean down, though, and take that chain off his ankle first. This could be a new idea, thinking outside the box, or literally an awakening and finding a way out. Yeah, pushing the limits, like not staying inside the lines for change. Finding a way, finding a way out. I'm seeing riding a bike too, so while you're taking a break, you might be riding your bike. Or maybe I'm getting, so I don't know if someone likes to do tricks with a bike, so someone they might do that, like a skateboard, but with a bike. And 
So the wild card that you didn't see yet that's at the end is the Queen of Wands, but she's reversed. So we've got the King and Queen of Wands reversed. So that's not great energy. And I pulled an extra card for you too, just to get more clarity on her. And it is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So she may be overworked or not working at all, or it's just not working with the Queen of Wands, especially at work. So we get Capricorn energy here. We have Taurus, Cancer, Sagittarius. We have the King of Wands, which is, you know, Aries, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, man, and then the the King of, of Pentacles. So Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, man. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So the same fire signs, but the Queen. The King and Queen of Wands are both reversed. The King of Pentacles is reversed. Nobody's upright here except for the Page of Pentacles, which can be a child or an opportunity. The opportunity is there. It's there sitting, waiting for you from the past. It could be a childhood friend or a soulmate or someone that you didn't look at before that way. And maybe that was because you were married and now you're not. Or just what you want to go forward and do with your kids. The opportunity, someone's giving you an opportunity or maybe offering you some money or a loan. Or just need help to learn something, but feeling rejected. And maybe not feeling, it's funny, it's like that there can be two brothers, two partners, two best friends who, who always compete against each other and they're both reversed now. One's more about the passion, one's more about the money, but they're competing again. The one brother or friend or partner, whatever it is, says, I got this much money and this one's saying, well, I got this. And that's where the King of Pentacles is going, mm -hmm, really? <laughs> so, it's kind of funny. But choosing the path, but knowing that you have to detox first to get the devil out of your system, whatever codependencies or addictions need to get out of this situation, um, but feeling defenseless to the energies right now or attacks from other people, and but finding a way out. It's like by in the feeling defenseless to the attacks, it's like you're seeing a way out. You're seeing a way out, and then the Queen of Wands, that could be a Taurus person too. And any of the characters could be. The Page of Pentacles could be the Taurus as well. Just that feeling like a little kid again or a student again, you know, being humbled that way because you have to start over again. And then the Queen of Wands is pissed. Um, maybe felt overworked and want to get out of here. One of you wants to get out of here. It could be the Queen of Wands too. But she's either overworked and done aligning with what she wants to do as far as work, or she's not been working and she still doesn't want to work. So she's not helping the situation. She wants to get out of here. If I ever get out, if I ever get out of this place. I'm not getting, I'm gonna give it, I'm not getting that song. Gonna give it all away. No, it's not that song though. I don't know what I'm trying to think. But anyway, if I ever get out of this place, um, I want to clarify here. All right, so we have my Kipper deck. I'm slowing down a little bit. All right, so what is this read really all about? What's going on with the King and Queen of Wands? And what's going on with the King of Pentacles reversed? And this opportunity, soulmate, or children involved? And a divorce or some kind of alternative spirituality or thinking outside the box, being broken, broken down. What's going on? So you're on a path which is, you know, per perfectly fits with the read because you are choosing a path and there's a community involved. Okay, so you feel very um, included by this community. You re they really get you and you really get them. And there may even be some unexpected income along with this too. So it's a brand new path for Taurus, which actually could make you a wealthy man. Okay, this is the next card coming up. Wealthy man. But you have, but involves going to the courthouse. Okay, so 
So whatever you have to get out of, whether it's breaking a contract or a marriage, whatever it is, but there's some a new path that you're taking and the underlying energy is here, change. Okay, so it could be a new car because your car might be broken down, the underlying energy. The house is empty for a change or a new house. You could be moving houses, but the, the move looks canceled or or you're blocked right now because of work or lack of work. Maybe there's people who aren't showing up to work or you don't have enough people right now to take time off. And then let's see, let's clarify. I'm gonna clarify the, the Six of Cups first. Six of Cups is really positive energy, right? Smack in the middle. And then all, all around it's not terrible, but there's some, you know, stubborn people here. All right, Six of Cups. Why, do, why does Taurus have Six of Cups right in the middle here? All right, we have the, um, the Seven of Wands reversed, the Five of Pentacles and the Judgment card reversed. Okay, so very much about feeling defenseless to the energies coming in or attacks coming in. Um, feeling out in the cold, you might have gotten kicked out, kicked out of church, kicked out of school, kicked out of a business, fired, laid off or coming in and out of a hospital on crutches. You might have been hurt or going in for chemo or radiation treatments and feeling defenseless to the energies, unable to make a decision, or it was a bad decision to do whatever you did that got you to this place. But right after that, you're getting back to, to the regular routine. Okay? So that's why the Two of Cups is in the, in the middle there. Maybe. You, Maybe you have kids to take care of, or you do have a soulmate you'd like to come together with or offer an invitation or opportunity, but um, there's just, you're going through medical treatments right now, or you have kids or family going through medical treatments, or just getting gut kicked out, maybe you lost a job, so you don't have the income right now. But you are about to choose a new path. Maybe you want to grow oranges, that came up in somebody's read today, and now we have the tree again with the money on it. So maybe you want to have a grove with lots of different fruit trees and sheep, the king of pentacles, so the king of pentacles and the high priestess, so you could have secret or you could have psychic abilities, but the king of pentacles, you know, he's, he's got money here, he's definitely stable, we have the queen, the king of swords coming in here too, what else, all right, so the king of swords, one of you guys is also the king of wands. So the King of Swords might be the King of Wands as well because the King of Pentacles isn't around you. There's a secret or high priestess or psychic abilities that need to be used here, but there's a debt of some sort or an imbalance between two or three of you because the high priestess could be a separate energy between you. And then we have the Four of Wands reversed, all right? So that could be a move, an end of a marriage, an end of a party. It could be that the party's over. There's either way there's a debt or an imbalance that needs to be corrected. Between two two men who are moving out. Or this could be a partnership at work, like with even three people. But they could be breaking up or there's, there's just debt there, but they could be moving the whole practice or moving from home together or somebody's moving away from somebody else. And it could be a third party or a anything like that. It could be overindulgences, partying too much, right? Because the party, it could be a, a party that was canceled because of money issues and we party too much anyway. It could be gossip, overindulgences, antisocial behavior but no joy, there's no joy. Feeling defenseless to the energies, feeling left out in the cold. Why do we have the devil reversed at the end? That flipped right out. There's your devil reversed. King of cups reversed. That's the devil reversed. Implementing a plan to end the family or end an emotional cycle. Right, that's the devil reversed. 
So in choosing this new path, it's dependent on this energy here. Implementing a new plan to end a family cycle and be present. All right, so, and this has to do with the, the emperor and the empress. Because after this comes up being present to the emperor and the empress here. Okay. So it's like turning your back on your bosses, your parents, your grandparents, whoever it is, or on a partnership, your own marriage, your own partnership, but ending a family or emotional cycle. All right, and so this this is you. I mean, this can be you as well. You could be part of the couple here, or you could be this third person turning away. It could be a child who's who's not dealing with their parents anymore. Maybe you're in partnership together, or you're living together, and that has to change. You need to detox from this. All right. So the emperor and the empress are also next to the dysfunctional family. So it's either a loss of money, or literally dysfunctional. You might have lost a family member recently. Yeah, and that's the King of Wands reverse. That's you. All right, so you're part of that dysfunctional family of the Emperor and the Empress, and you're not, you don't want to put up with it anymore, and you're clear about that. Okay, so let me just pull a numerology card. See how much time we have. I want to clarify the Queen of Wands reverse as well. So you have the King of Cups that came up, the King of Swords came up, all the Kings came up. Not much in the Queens, just the Queen of Wands. And I'm remembering anyway. And kids. So what is the message for Taurus? Sorry, this came right out. So surrenders at the bottom of the deck, and then we have leadership and communication for Taurus. Okay, so leadership is number 81 which is the end of the cycle in the numerology book, the Divine Triangle. That's actually the end of the life cycle. And then 33 is the Christ vibration. It's also the Seven of Wands. That's reversed in your read, feeling defenseless. Seven of Wands means standing up for yourself without reacting or being defensive. So important for you to communicate and take the lead. And I just want to clarify the Queen of Wands, see what comes up for her. The Queen of Wands reverse, why is she there after the awakening or the way out, the idea, the escape? Why is the Queen of Wands reverse there, along with the Eight of Pentacles reversed? All right, so she is dropping all of her burdens. She's not going to work. She's not going to do anything. And the Eight of Wands reversed. So she's not expressing her feelings, she's not exchanging energy or sharing, delays in communication and travel, and she's going to drop everything, drop you, and go start a new life. She could be offering a new life to a queen of swords. So it could two, be two ladies. Somebody who's together with a man could be leaving for another woman. Or this could be the king of wands also leaving for another woman or just a partnership. Either one, the Queen of Wands or the, the King of Wands could be leaving for, to offer a partnership or a new life. I mean, they don't have to be splitting up, but it doesn't look great. The Queen of Wands is definitely dumping all of her burdens and not, she, she may not be telling, she might just dump all her stuff and leave. She could be offering a friend some money. She might be, be taking all the money and the stuff and giving it to somebody who you don't know about so that you will never be able to find the stuff and she'll be able to reap all the rewards from the, the breakup. Yep. She's offering all a payoff or to hold her stuff to a Queen of Swords reversed. Who's letting go of all her stuff. Maybe she's going to have a yard sale. Or maybe the Queen of Wands isn't telling, but she's going to dump all her burdens and then offer money to this Queen of Swords to give her all her stuff. Maybe she's going to buy all this stuff from this Queen of Swords or this Queen of Swords letting go of things that no longer serve her. Maybe she wants to pay her for information or for her stuff. But she's mad, the Queen of Wands. So she could be spending all this money to get back at you. Or 
or she may be offering this Queen of Swords money to let go. Maybe that's a third party situation. Yep. Um, but there is painful ending and betrayal here and the truth with the Queen of Cups. So all this is coming up for you guys at the end. Okay. Okay, so that's the Ace of Swords there behind her. All right, so why do we have the Eight of Pentacles at the end there then? comes up again. So the same. There's a painful ending or betrayal or back pain. But out of it, someone's taking one sword out of the back pain at least to offer some truth to the Queen of Wands, who's a good person, very loving and giving. And then we and is also who will turn around and be inspired by it. Okay, so somebody's giving the Queen of Cups the truth. Or behind her back is two children. Uh, so there may be two children who are involved in a separation or whatever. There's some interesting information coming up here. So with after the truth card is the Queen of Cups with two kids, the three of sword the three of swords and the Knight of Swords. So if I can get this all up for you at the same time. Okay. So she could she might not have known, but there were two kids who were involved with the separation, heartbreak, whatever happened, and this messenger of truth coming in to 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 clarify all that stuff. Or it could have been with that Knight of Swords coming in. It could have been some kind of, you know, property damage or some kind of mischief like that. Okay, but clarity's coming. But yeah, there could just definitely be some revenge stuff and a breakup if it is that for you. Because we got Cancer reversed, we got the King and Queen of Wands reversed, we got the King of Pentacles reversed. But the kids are good. Okay? Rise and be loved, guys. Bye, Taurus.